ayahuasca is two substances. It's a monoamine oxidase inhibitor and it's a DMT component. And DMT is dimethyltryptamine. The substance that people drink is made of these two substances. And basically when you drink it, the stomach enzymes shut down for a little bit and the DMT is allowed to be absorbed into the body. And DMT is a substance that is already in us. We have it in our cerebral spinal fluid. We have it in our lungs, our eyes. And some people speculate that we have it in our pineal gland, but they haven't been able to prove that yet. The pineal gland is referred to in the Eastern cultures as the third eye or our universal connection that we can see and feel other people's vibes. So DMT is a molecule that allows people to have interconnection and peace and also universal connection. And so if I take a little extra with ayahuasca, I deepen that connection that I have with myself. And I also work on neurochemical issues such as low dopamine or high serotonin. And I balance those things out and have a reset component to my neurochemistry, which is my mood and my also my awareness. And it helps with uh, trauma, it helps with addiction, it helps with life changes, having clarity on what to do. The amygdala part of the brain is where we store our subconscious memories. In the prefrontal cortex part of the brain is our conscious awareness. And so what happens is if I have trauma and I, and I was a little kid, and that's in my amygdala, and there's an emotional charge linked to that traumatic event, usually fear or guilt sometimes or anger, and that's stored away in my subconscious. And then now I'm an adult, and that was traumatic stuff when I was a kid, but now as an adult, I'm resistant to other people. I don't have good relationships. I avoid life. Maybe I'm reclusive, and I'm kind of confused as to why that's happening. I take ayahuasca, my prefrontal cortex and my amygdala connect and I get to understand and see why I feel this way as an adult now. Because when I was a kid, I had trauma and my amygdala is, is trying to protect me by not making me be vulnerable. It wants to prevent vulnerability because I was abused as a kid, let's say, as an example. So now I say, well, I'm not being abused. I'm an adult. I'm not a victim anymore. I can move forward and I can be vulnerable in healthy ways. So the brain is a very important component of, of ayahuasca, like what's happening. It helps us plug in, reconnect, reset, and also process trauma from the past.